welcome to my July beauty favorites. I am ready to show you a bunch of products that I have been using this month that I really do like. I have actually realized that I have a few pairs of products that I've kind of been using together. So let's go ahead and get right into them and let me show you what I've been using. It is summertime and I have been wearing flip flops pretty much every single day so far and my toes and my feet have been needing a lot of extra TLC. So to not kill my bank and go get pedicures all the time, I've been trying to do a little bit of home maintenance on my feet to kind of keep them pretty and soft and summer worthy in sandals. So the first thing I went and picked up earlier this month from Ulta was the Earth Therapeutics Tea Tree Oil Gentle Foot Peel. And when I saw peel, that extra appealed to me because I feel like whenever I look for foot exfoliators, I always just see products that have lots of grains in them, bits, pits, or something that is somewhat abrasive to the skin. And the fact that this one contained alpha hydroxy fruit acids really was something I haven't used so much myself on my feet. And basically, rather than having some type of grainy texture to rough off any dead skin, it actually has acid from fruit that they are using to as a chemical exfoliator to break down the dead skin on your feet. Basically what you do is you put this on and you kind of massage your feet for about 5-10 minutes. You can kind of leave them alone, you can wrap them in plastic if you want to. And when you're ready to take the product off, all you have to do is just get a hot towel and kind of wipe up all of the extra product. And you'll see a lot of the dead skin comes right off with it. It's made my feet feel so soft and so smooth. And again, it doesn't have any type of grainy texture so it's not going to tear your skin at all. It's just it's just a really, really nice, gentle way of exfoliating your feet. After using this product, what I've been using is the Gino Juvenine Foot Care. This product came out probably two months ago. I got it as soon as it came out, and I'm not really a big foot person, but I did get a preview of this product, and I tried it, and it kind of felt like as if my feet were straws, and this was water, and it just kind of finally had the first drink of its life. It, it, I could feel the skin on my feet breathing, if that sounds weird, but, but that's what it felt like. It just felt like my skin was on my feet was just like happy. I don't, I just can't explain it exactly. It didn't have any type of tingling feeling, but it just, I could feel that my feet were hydrated. And the nice thing about that is it didn't leave my skin or my feet feeling greasy at all. So I could put flip flops back on and not be necessarily slipping and sliding all around in them. But I've been loving this product and it's actually good, not necessarily right after exfoliating. I've used it just on long days when my feet are tired. It just helps to kind of just soothe them and make them feel better and I've just been loving this product a lot this month. The next pair I have to show to you are two lip products. The first one is a MAC lipstick and it is the Kinda Sexy Matte Lipstick by MAC. It is probably one of my favorite across the board for all skin tones lipsticks. I just think that this lipstick looks great on everyone. It kind of gives you a pink nude look, but a very wearable one. And This is probably my fastest used lipstick from MAC. I just, I just find that it's flattering with most makeup looks with most seasons, um, with most outfits. I actually have it on right now underneath the lip gloss, but I've just been loving this lipstick so much this month and I just had to put it on my favorites. The next lip item, which I'm also wearing right now on top of Kinda Sexy Lipstick, is the Color Smile Lip Gloss in Nude. I have been hearing so much about this lip gloss for the past few months and I finally got to have it and I'm so, so, so excited I got it. I got this with another color as well, but this has definitely been my favorite. It just pairs so well with the Kinda Sexy lipstick, but I've used this a lot on its own as well. And the super exciting part about this lip gloss is the fact that it has a mirror on it. So if you're out anywhere and you don't have a mirror, you have one now on this lip gloss. Even more exciting than that is once you twist off the top, there's a light inside. It is amazing because if you're out anywhere, you don't have a mirror, you don't have a light, when you go and look in the mirror to see where your lips are, it's like a spotlight on your lips. So you cannot go wrong. You just put it right onto your lips and it's 
it's perfect. Anyone who goes out at night, anyone who has a job where you can't necessarily get to a mirror, anyone who just lives life, I guess, should have something kind of like this. There's so many different colors that this company makes, but I have been loving it. I love that it has everything just built in. So this combo has definitely been my favorite lip combo of July. The last pair I had to show you today, a set that I've been using on my cheeks this month. And I'll show you the bronzer first. It is the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in Medium. Unlike Benefit's Hula Bronzer or Nars's Laguna Bronzer, how a lot of people use those for bronzers and contouring powders, this is strictly a contouring powder. You do not want to bronze with it. It is a very kind of brown gray color, which is perfect for contouring. I've been loving it. I've been using it pretty much every single day, either making my contour look really strong and prominent or just being very soft. But I am wearing it today on my cheekbones, a little bit right here. Something I would recommend to anyone who's looking for a little bit more contour in their makeup look. It is a definite staple in my makeup bag and it's something I would definitely purchase again. The last part of my cheek pair, as well as the last product that I have for my favorites, is my Laura Mercier Lush Nectarine Blush. This has been something I've been using all month as well. I've been pairing it with the Kevin Aucoin Sculpting Powder. It's just a very easy to wear, pretty blush. It just almost gives your cheeks like a little bit of a highlight of color. It's not too strong at all. It's got good pigmentation so that's the nice thing but it's not like a strong overpowering color I just I really do like it. I just think it makes me look like I have a healthy glow without making it look too too strong but just a gorgeous blush thank you so much for watching my July favorites if you liked any of these products at all go ahead and get this video a thumbs up and if you have any questions about any of the products that I didn't answer for you go ahead and put them in the comment bar below I'll go ahead and get to those as soon as I can and thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.